Hello Leo and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your 1111 Ascension Portal Tarot reading, which occurs on Thursday along with the second quarter or waxing half moon in Aquarius, just passing the conjunction with Saturn. So what the 1111 Ascension Portal is, it's a doorway between the third and fifth dimensions. It's starseed awakenings, helping you to become more aware of your psychic abilities or experiencing an increase and in growth in your abilities. And with that expansion, you have a sense of liberation because that expansion is going to push out and clear out negativity and old habits that no longer serve you in a positive soul growth way. So this can bring about transformation of oneself. This can be new beginnings, bringing about profound manifestations that support you. So this is spiritual support coming in to unlock the pathways to your authentic self and your highest destinies. So what this reading is about are messages from the Council of Light and how your guides are helping you to unlock your highest potentials. So let's get into your reading, Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or Rising. Perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common good. Now this can mean many different things to each of you. This is zooming out and looking at our little planet of Earth and getting a new perspective. And finding your common ground. We are all on this planet. We are all sharing this planet. And we are evolving. We are light. Let's see how this perspective is going to shift your energy, Leo. A merry motive with number 20. Okay. This, to me, <clears throat> I get the feeling that you Leos, and I'm included in this as I am a Leo, have many projects that you've been working on. And they've just been kind of hanging there, waiting for you to do a little more work on it. And now you're going to have this motivation rising up that's going to encourage you to work on a project. And there might be one that gets more of your attention than the others. And that is helping you to shift your perspective. You're zooming out and you're seeing what projects you're working on and how they're coming together. Okay, now let's see how the universe has your back. And I see this rising up from the earth. So I also get the feeling of some of that a profound manifestation, something materializing in your world. And how your guides have your back. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. Okay, well, this can also be what some of these stars represent as well. Uh, different modalities of healing that you've been working with. 
and now things are coming together and you're giving yourself permission to feel what you're feeling, what lives below the triggers. So when you do feel, you can feel more of your authentic self without the triggers adding their energy to you, which could diminish your true feelings because you tense up with triggers and you want to be able to relax. So your guides are bringing in this beautiful healing energy that is going to have a profound transformation on your healing and you're going to get a different perspective and what none of this matters are the triggers you're going to zoom out and see what are causing those triggers and you're going to be able to realize that that's not your energy that's the past you feel what you feel you release that energy and then you can go down deeper into your soul light for greater growth. <clears throat> okay, let's go deeper into this reading, Leo, with some tarot. Oh, that card just wanted to fly out. The Seven of Swords. Okay, Seven of Swords is when these are lies and gossip that people have spread about you. This is people who are trying to keep you bound in doubts and fears and not letting you know what your true potentials are. They're afraid of your true potentials. They're afraid of your power. But this card is telling you, these are your triggers. The Seven of Swords can be these triggers and you're working through that. Let's draw some more tarot. Justice. Yeah, with the Seven of Swords, whoever was talking bad about you, they're going to receive their karmic lessons. And as you can see, it is in the form of butterflies, transformation, sending them lessons that will help them transform and understand and grow because people usually talk bad about other people because they feel insecure. They somehow feel threatened by this other person's power. And Leo, a lot of people are threatened by your light. You're ruled by the sun. You're bright. You're shining on this speck, on this planet of Earth. That is your energy. You're ruled by the sun. Three of Swords. Yes, yeah, some you're transforming your heartache into light. And learning the lessons of that pain. None of this matters. It's all going to dissolve into the light that it is. Let that pain. This too is part of this triggers. The sorrow that is deep within your heart because somebody betrayed you talk well the three of swords is about betrayal and backstabbing and with the seven of swords you know this is just adding more injury to the injury that they already caused you and you have had to deal with a lot and for some of you leos there may have been some legal litigation in that and now it's being dissolved. It no longer matters. It's okay to feel what you feel because now you don't have to fear the anger that they stirred up within you. Then you have the Six of Swords. This is really nice because this is moving away from the troubled waters into these healing waters where healing can occur. And you allow yourself to feel the hurt that you felt when you were being betrayed. You know what it feels like to be betrayed. 
So why would you want to cause other people that pain? Instead, you send them the lessons because you have to release that energy. It's not yours. You send it back to where it came from or it just dissipates into the universe. Five of Swords. Okay, with the Justice card. Okay, this was definitely a power play that somebody did on you, Leo. Uh, this could be somebody who weaponized the legal system against you as well. This can also be karmic. But again, this is somebody who is trying to steal your powers and cause you disharmony and pain. And it's almost like you didn't get away in time. It's like, yeah, I'm getting away. I'm getting out of this situation. This isn't a healing positive situation for me. And I want to be in a better space. But you didn't quite get out of there in time. And these people just, you know, the boundaries have been drawn up. Words have been exchanged. The fool, this is giving you that new beginning. And keep in mind, on the 19th, we have the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus. And Uranus is in Taurus. So that can bring about some more of those profound sudden changes a change of events and here you have you're dissolving your sorrow into light and bringing a new beginning you want a new beginning you're zooming out and getting a new perspective what is it that i'm here to do you're ruled by the sun and this is actually the sun's perspective of our planet Earth. Then we have the devil. Okay, these are the bad habits or behaviors that can keep you bound in certain situations that aren't healthy for you. But here you're moving away from that shadow energy. This is also you having done some work with your shadow energy, working on your shadow, healing some of those negative energies. The permission to feel whatever you feel, even if you may perceive them as evil, it doesn't mean that you have to act on them. We express our anger, our hurt in many ways. And pain and hurt and anger can keep your energy bound to where you don't feel they become the triggers that live below the queen of chalices oh this is great healing for you leo you've been through it you have been through a lot and this can be a karmic balance, even if it was through some kind of litigation um, and having this power play, um, you know, this struggle. Sometimes it's better to walk away if, but some people won't let you walk away. They drag you into these litigations by weaponizing the legal system. And you are finally healing from that, Leo. You're coming out of that. And now you have found your merry motive, which is coming back to the projects that you left hanging, perhaps some of them unfinished. This could be an unfinished painting. Perhaps you go back to that. And it helps you to get back into the flow of it to get a new perspective. Nice, with the Nine of Chalices, you find your bliss with this Maiden Crescent Moon, which is just after the new moon, which we had on the fourth. Okay, again, you have felt great sorrow. 
you're releasing that you're understanding where it belongs and you're allowing it to dissolve into the light to give yourself this new beginning but you're putting your intentions in your bliss you're going back to fill your bliss you're looking at the big picture now you're looking at the projects that you've left hanging and now you can go back to them because this is spirit guiding you back to your projects, your other talents. Okay, because the 1111 Ascension Portal is a doorway, let's look at the Divine Doors, Leo, and see what Divine Door is opening for you. Ah, here's your doorway. Three-eyed raven, as sunrise hits upon the dew, a messenger raven calls with news. Prepare for the unexpected. Now, this is really beautiful. I do have a couple of crows that come by every now and then, and uh, I feed them peanuts, so they always caw, and I come out and give them peanuts, and we have this nice little relationship. Okay, let's look at the eternal light. This is the light downloads that you're receiving. This is also the ways that you shine your light because you are also eternal light. Okay, and we have change within the unchangeable. I love it. Life is constantly changing even though it is unchanging at its core. Change is part of life. It is what keeps life never-ending story interesting. Allow your branches to move with the breeze and adapt with the seasons, but keep your roots firmly planted in the earth beneath you. This is really nice because here you have this fire your soul like grounded in the earth and it's rising your creativity is rising out of it and this is the change the within the unchangeable we are always light but we can change that light we can transform it this can come in the ways of profound manifestations if you focus on that which is healing, that which gives you bliss and makes you feel good. This is about finding your emotional contentment and doing one of the most difficult things, changing your sorrow, your deepest sorrow into compassion and understanding and the new beginning with the fool, starting over, following your bliss what makes you feel good inside. Okay, Leo, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you found it helpful. And until next time, take care.